Previously, we talked about using frequency histograms to create a picture of what our distribution looks like. And then we used measures of central tendency, such as mean, median, and mode, in order to characterize numerically the center of those distributions. However, we need some other terminology to more accurately describe the shape of a distribution. For example, let's say we have two distributions, and one of the frequency histograms looks like this. It's unimodal, it's symmetric, and if we have another distribution, let's say it only has one spike over a single value. Let's say that value is 10. And in this case, let's also say that the mean, median, and mode is also centered at 10. So in both cases, all measures of central tendency are equal. Mean, median, and mode are 10 in this distribution, and mean, median, and mode are 10 in this distribution. However, there's no variability in this distribution. If I were to randomly select a sample from this distribution, it would always be 10. There's no variability. In this case, there is some variability around the mean. So if I randomly selected a value, it could be on the left or the right of 10. It could be 10 itself. But the point is, there's variability there. So to quantify this, we first calculate something called variance, or SD squared. What this is, is it's a measure of how much each value in this distribution deviates from the mean. It's a measure of variability. So mathematically, we can compute this as the sum of each observation in this distribution, and we subtract the value of the mean from each of those values and then we square it. That's just so that we don't end up with a value of zero for this because on average you're going to have negative values and positive values to the right of the mean that cancel each other out. That's why we square it. And then we divide this whole thing by n or the number of observations in our distribution. You may also see a term called SS which stands for sum of squares and that's simply this numerator term. So SS equals sum of X minus M and squaring each of those differences. So in other words, you could simply plug that back in here and it would be the same thing. SD squared equals sum of squares over N. Now finally, to compute the standard deviation, we simply take the square root of both sides. We do that for this side, it eliminates the exponent, we do it for this side, and we take the square root of this entire term here. Standard deviation is one of the primary measures of variability. 